Okay, um, my name is Lourdes Verdes Montenegro. I am radio astronomer at the Instituto de Astrofísica de Andalucía and uh, in Granada, in Spain. And uh, I am also coordinating the participation of Spain in the SKA. That country became the 11th member of <laughs> SKA just a month ago. And, uh, and I always worried about reproducibility since I discovered how difficult it was for myself even to retake some research I did time ago and uh, I didn't know what was the last version of the file or the right data to use or whatever. So that was my beginning in the area of reproducibility. Even if uh, some people think uh, that there is not such a thing as a reproducibility crisis, uh, well, there are two ways to, to, know, to realize that. There is the, the um, uh, survey that Nature made uh, to 1,500 scientists and uh, the answers were that they failed, that about 70% of them failed to reproduce the results of other investigations, other researchers, and 50% their own research. And even if people may think, well, I don't think this is true because I have a section in my paper about the methods, uh, and something, some people think this is reproducibility, this is not reproducibility, and uh, putting the code somewhere helps to avoid the reproducibility crisis, but doesn't solve it. And I always mention a tweet that there is out there, and it says, you can download my code in this uh, web, but good luck to, with downloading the postdoc who is the only one who wants how to run the code, because the code is not the only answer. You need the code, the context, the input data, and some example to run it. So at the end, uh, there are kind of two ways of thinking. I have the method section in my paper, that's reproducible, or this is a very difficult problem and that's a new topic. And I'm trying to make it not utopic. First, we have to remember we are scientists, so we somehow agree to follow the scientific method. The scientific method means make things reproducible, but uh, we also need the incentives. Uh, I think that there is different benefit for the scientists and for the science, and that's very bad. The scientist seems to get more benefit, and I'm a scientist, keeping the data, keeping the software, but the science doesn't. And why I don't get benefit? Because the metrics, the evaluation uh, indicators are not tuned to the reproducibility. They are tuned to have a mediatic uh, results or trendy results or novelty. And novelty seems more important than solid methods. And what I always say is good methods is good science. Good science doesn't mean I discover the answer of everything, but I put my little people to make it possible. So I think that, that uh, the answer comes from the different people involved. The scientists, we have to change our mind, but we have to get the incentives and the tools to do it. So the funding agencies play a role, and I guess that the publishers will need to adapt to, to that and move and shift from just uh, looking for novel results and pay, paying attention to solid. And solid doesn't mean the way it's written, it's also solid, the methodology, the software, etc. Astrophysics, in astrophysics we always want to look farther and fainter and back in time. And this led us to try to build uh, something like the square kilometer array. This is going to be exascale computing, exabytes of data, or petabytes of data. The benefits of scaling up current infrastructures are clear. We have access to more observations, better observations, in the sense of better uh, capacity to distinguish details in the sky, etc. But the problem of reproducibility is scales at the same rate. So larger structure, larger infrastructure means higher problem about reproducibility. So if we don't pay attention from the beginning, then we are not be going to be able to fix it at the end. How can people trust the science if science does not trust in itself? 
Yes, that's that's the point. Uh, we work for the society. Uh, we don't. We not only work for the society when we generate new drugs. Uh, we work for the society when we find new words or understand the universe. And uh, so it's very important that the society trusts science, but trusts science not in a faith way, in a methodological way. So I think that the the point that uh, we need uh, science to be trusted by scientists and then we can make it trustable by society.